You've no doubt heard phone-in shows on radio where the presenter can talk live to listeners. HBS has a system which will allow you to take calls live on air or to pre-record a telephone call. This can be useful if you're running a competition, have a listener who wants to introduce their own request, or even if you want to conduct an interview with a guest who can't come into the studio. Incoming calls are normally answered in the library, but at the right-hand side of the desk, just above the turntables, is the telephone switching unit. This allows you to answer an incoming call and to divert the phone lines to a dedicated position on the Phone 1 channel of the desk. Both telephone lines are connected to the telephone switching unit. However, only one line at a time can be diverted into the studio. The upper row of lights indicate the status of 0404, while the bottom row shows the status of 4043. In between the lights are a couple of three-position switches. The middle position is off. That means that neither of the phone lines is diverted into the studio. When a switch is moved to the up position, 0404 is diverted into the studio. When a switch is moved to the down position, 4043 is diverted. When a call comes in on 0404, the upper warning light will flash. Similarly, an incoming call on 4043 will trigger the lower warning light. If the call is diverted to the other studio, the appropriate busy light will be illuminated. There is also a warning light which comes on when the door buzzer is pressed. When taking live calls, there are quite a number of issues relating to programme management which require to be taken into account. These will be discussed during your training. The right hand switch diverts the phone lines to the telephone handset in the studio. Pushing the switch up diverts 0404. The handset and busy lights illuminate, indicating that the line has now been diverted. Returning the switch to the middle position disconnects the call from the switching system. By pressing the switch down, 4043 can be diverted to the studio handset. Returning the switch to the off position disconnects the call. The left switch functions in exactly the same way, but it routes the call directly to the desk. It also sends a special mix of the programme called clean feed to the caller, allowing them to hear the programme. Now let's put this into context and identify the basic steps which should be taken to get a call live on air. The first step is to handle the call as it comes into the library. The production assistant should obtain the name of the caller, details of the hospital and ward, and also the artist and title requested. The production assistant should also find out if there's a specific reason for choosing the track, and also make sure that the caller is comfortable about discussing this or another agreed topic on air. Step 2. As soon as the requested item is known, Another member of the team should locate it in the catalogue and look out the track. If it's not available, a suitable alternative should be identified. Step 3. The physical item or computer location of the audio file, together with details of the caller, should be passed to the presenter. The caller should be advised that they will be transferred to the studio and the presenter will speak to them before they go on air. Step 4. The presenter should check that the desk is correctly set up with the Phone 1 and Phone 2 channels active. This should have happened automatically when the desk was first switched on. Now would also be a good time to set up the requested audio. Step 5. The call should be transferred to the studio handset by pushing the right switch up for 0404 or down for 4043. The presenter should then chat to the caller off ear, putting the caller at ease and establishing the parameters of the on-ear segment. Step 6. The call should now be transferred to the studio desk. You can leave the handset switch on, as the on-ear switch will override it. This can be useful if you wish to talk to the caller on the handset after the live link. The call should be diverted to the desk by pushing the left switch up for a call on 0404 or down for a call on 4043. This will divert the call onto the phone 1 channel on the desk and also allow the caller to hear the output of the desk. 
Step 7. Before taking the call live on air, you must set up the caller's audio level. This involves several steps in itself. Press pre-fade on the Phone 1 channel. This will allow you to hear the caller off air. Press and hold down the CF1 button at the right hand side of the desk. This activates the microphone built into the Synergy desk. It's located just above the button. The caller can now hear you. CF stands for Clean Feed, which sends a special mix from the desk which avoids audio feedback. This would cause a loud squeal when the Phone 1 fader is opened. Chat to the caller while holding the CF1 button down, remembering to talk towards the built-in microphone and not the presenter's microphone. While chatting, you should adjust the gain on Phone 1 to set the correct audio level for the caller. The gain can be adjusted by simply rotating the phone channel's multifunction control. Once the level is set, the prefade on Phone 1 should be switched off to return your monitoring to the program output. Now it's time to deliver the link. As the phone line has a limited audio range and may also have some noise on the line, the Phone 1 fader should be opened just as you are introducing the caller. Once the live call has ended, the Phone 1 fader should be closed immediately. Step 8. At the end of the link, return the left switch to the off position. You can once again use the handset before returning its switch to the off position, which diverts the phone line back to the library. The successful execution of a live phone-in emphasises the importance of the programme team. There should always be at least one person in the library whose primary function is to support the needs of programming, and, when it's necessary, these needs should take priority over activities being undertaken by other volunteers.